Phytoplankton samples are collected using a 3-minute horizontal surface net tow. We use a 20 micron net. It feels like silk, but actually is a mesh of very small holes that are 20 microns in diameter. Start by collecting a water sample and measuring the environmental conditions. Carefully dip the 5-gallon bucket into the water. You don't need to fill it all the way up. Fill the 1 liter and 30 milliliter bottles, the largest and the smallest, with water from the bucket and set them aside. These are the whole water samples, which may need to be sent to the NOAA lab for further analysis if blooms of certain species are found. The middle-sized bottle is attached to the end of the net. Make sure you don't lose the cap. Place the thermometer in the bucket and give it a few minutes to acclimate before recording the water temperature. You will use a refractometer to measure the salinity. Use the pipette to get a sample from the bucket. Place a few drops of the sample on the prism. Close the cover plate. Holding the refractometer level, look through the eyepiece toward a light source. This is what you should see. Read the salinity, the numbers on the right, at the line where the blue and white meet. In this example, it's about 26 parts per thousand. And now it's time to catch some phytoplankton. Check that the line is securely fastened to the toe ring of the net and the bottle is fastened to the end. Lower the net into the water. Dunk the net a few times to get air bubbles out of the bottle. Once the bottle begins to sink, lower the net until the mouth is below the surface. Start your timer for three minutes. The net should be horizontal with water flowing through the mouth. It should look like a windsock. If it's hanging down, water is not being filtered and you'll have no plankton in the bottle. If there is not a strong enough current, walk the net back and forth for the three minute tow. Be careful not to snag the net on oysters, pilings of the dock. It will rip easily. At the end of the three minutes, lift the net up and check to make sure the sample bottle is filled. Dunk the net a few times to wash off anything that is sticking to the inside of the net. You can then use a squirt bottle filled with seawater to rinse the net around the cod end. The purpose is to wash down any plankton that are sticking onto the net down into the bottle. Carefully unscrew the bottle from the net and replace the cap. You have collected your phytoplankton. Please rinse the net thoroughly and hang it to dry when you are finished.